And we come to the end of Disney Sitcom Month. And if you're preparing yourself for, like, a grand finale with, like, the worst episode, you're probably going to be disappointed. I've been waiting for a day like this to come to Girl Meets World is the sequel series to Boy Meets World, which I talked about a few years ago. Airing from 2014 to 2017, it follows the daughter of Cory and Topanga named Riley, who is learning to grow up in New York City along with her troubled friend Maya, her crush Lucas, and their geeky friend Farkle. They go through their day-to-day -day lives, often learning valuable life lessons. Fan reaction, I think, seems to be mixed, but personally, I think the show's great. It manages to have the same meta humor that Boy Meets World had, along with the heartwarming and sometimes tear jerking moments that made the original show special. But they weren't exactly good at balancing the two. Now again, I really like this show, but it did have one major issue. It tried way, way too hard to pull at your heartstrings. And oftentimes they did it well, but the best thing about the original show was that they could balance both comedy and drama evenly. This show often had several minutes go by without even an attempt at a joke. And because of that, it could sometimes come off as melodramatic. And that is no more evident than in the Season 2 episode, Girl Meets the Bay Window. Why do Season 2 episodes this month? It starts with Riley looking very creepily at Maya. No, she isn't planning a murder, she just wants to ask her permission for something. You're my favorite person in the world, I wouldn't change a thing about you. I want to tear down the bay window. Well, it's your room, she really doesn't have much say in it. What's the matter with you? We're changing. We're not. Maya, the most important things in our lives are changing. The bay window is one of the most important things in our lives. It's changing with us. What? No, just because you grow and change doesn't mean everything around you has to. I don't want this place to ever change. Look at me and tell me you understand that. Maya, it's time. And all of that was just before the theme song. We still got 20 more minutes of this stuff. Maya is upset at the concept of tearing down the window, but Riley keeps mentioning change, and that is something that I don't get. She wants to change because change is what happens, but you don't change things just for the sake of change. That's why the YouTube layout looks so shitty. You change so you can be better. This entire opening feels more like the ending of an episode. Do you know that every seven years your body grows a whole new set of cells? Every seven years, it's like you're a whole new person. Mr. Norton taught us that in science. Yeah, well, I'm exactly the same as I was when I was seven. They have a flashback, and here we get our first big joke. Riley almost drowning to death playing bobbing for apples. So apparently when she was a kid, Riley wasn't just a bit ditzy, she was actually brain dead. When you get an apple, but what if you don't get an apple, what are you supposed to do? Supposed to lift your head. Oh, these kids are trying. I mean, I, I can't be that angry at child actors who are at least giving it their all. Riley tells Farco about the bay window, and this causes Lucas to show up. High school's coming up. We're changing. Look around, guys. This is a, a little girl's window. It needs to change with us. If you want to change it because you think it looks too childish, fine, but... Don't just change because you need change, that's ungodly pretentious. Admittedly, they do finally start telling some actual jokes by having them explain how they feel they've known Lucas since they were little. Unfortunately, they go back to using those child actors who again are, are trying so hard, but oh god, listening to them sing. Wait, why am I not little like you guys? This is how you've always been, the only you we've ever seen. Alright, that was pretty good. And it does lead to one amazing joke. I was nothing like that. I was a little boy just like all of my friends. Look, I have a picture. Huh. And that is pretty much the last of the humor we'll get for this episode. You are never touching this bay window. Seriously, what is your deal? How could you let them do this? We didn't. What did you guys do? Riley, this is your favorite place in the world. Uh, I think you guys are being a little too calm that your daughter just tore down half her room without your permission, but whatever. People get comfortable with what's familiar. Yeah, and when you get too comfortable, you don't allow yourself room to grow. 
The worst thing you can do is fold your arms and refuse to accept what's going to come anyway. Yeah, but you don't have to change your goddamn window. In my old bedroom, they still have the same freaking window from when I was a kid. You have to accept change, but not force it. To demonstrate, they look back on a memory of just before Augie was born. Why does everything have to change? Why do I have to share my parents? You're gonna have a little brother or sister, Wiley. Your family loves each other. You're very lucky. God, the live studio audience must be so bored. The more Maya talks, the more I am completely on her side. She felt safe here, and since Riley doesn't have any good reasons for tearing down the window, then I'm siding with Maya. But she eventually agrees to keep the window down, and then we get a flashback to when Riley and Maya first met. How is this not over yet? Are we friends forever? Whatever you want. I want to call you Peaches. That was worthy of the commercial zinger. They do try and have some humor, but again, it all feels so melodramatic, especially when present Riley and Maya show up. Yes, they are actually talking to their inner child. Why are you here with us? Um, because we wanted to visit you and spend some time with you before things change. You're gonna change? Yeah, that's what happens. Oh my god, just to let you guys know, this isn't the finale. This is the penultimate episode of the second season. The next episode was the season finale, and even that wasn't as overly sappy as this. So, we decided to change the bay window? We're still not sure why. Again, maybe if this were like five or six seasons in and they were about to go to college, this would have actually been emotionally impactful. But in the second season, it feels forced. We then see adult Riley and Maya. Now what do we do? Now we leave this place, Maya. How do we do that? All of our memories are here. Again, there's not only another episode after this, but an entire another season. You take them with us. Okay, good message. Continue to grow and move on, but keep your memories with you. I can get behind that. Could you have done that with a little less pulling at my heartstrings? I just can't handle this amount of cheese. So, goodbye this room. Thanks for everything. Stop. Come in. Please stop. Please, please stop. Oh, God damn it, you went too far, and now I'm covered in cheese. Oh, oh, ready for this change, Maya? Whatever you want. I can't wait to see what's next. Eh, you got about one more season before Disney up and cancels you. Oh. Promise me we'll always be together. We will always be together. And it's good. This episode tries way too hard. Honestly, this is by far the best episode I've covered on Kids Are Smarter Than This. It has the best of intentions and really wants to make you feel while teaching a lesson about change. But good god is it overdramatic. There's not many attempts at humor and because this is only the end of the second season it feels forced. I really want this episode to work, I really do, but there are way better episodes that manage to deal with tough issues that do it better and have more humor. Anyway. I have to get this stuff off me, so thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, fucking hell. Jeez.
Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh